welcome to this fifth part of the video in this video i'll be explaining this problem so let us see what this problem is saying so in this problem it is saying that there is a non magnetic medium there is a non magnetic medium means it has magnetic property and the e field is given the question is to find the epsilon r find eta time average power carried by the wave and the total power crossing of 100 cm square of a plane of 2x plus y into uh, 2x plus y equals to 5 so it is saying there is a plane so like this there is a plane and whose uh, area is 100 cm square so the total power which is passing through this area it is asking that okay so now now let us solve one by one okay so the uh, let me just write the expression then uh, we'll continue okay so the expression e is given 4 sin 2 pi into 10 power 7t minus 0.8 x aj volt per meter so this is what the question is given and from the question itself we can say that if i compare this the standard form of e not e to the power minus alpha z cos of omega t minus beta z aj so if i compare with this one we can say the alpha value is equals to 0 right so comparing with standard form so this is a standard form we will get that your sigma sorry your alpha attenuation constant is equals to 0 and the medium is not free space but a lossless medium so uh, because this beta will be all are there so beta here is not equals to omega by c it cannot be okay now what is the beta value is given it can be omega by c now what is the beta value is given in the question beta value is given as 0.8 so this one 0.8 is given here okay the beta value is 0.8 and uh, its radian per second you should write and then what is the value of omega omega equals to 2 pi f okay so that is not 2 pi f actually omega value is given just write that like omega value is given 2 pi into 10 power 7 so that is the omega value is given okay now you know that beta is equals to omega into root over of mu epsilon that is known so that is equals to omega into so mu not into epsilon not into epsilon r okay mu r is mu r value is 1 so that is equals to omega by c so square root of mu not and epsilon it is 1 by c and square root of epsilon r so here is alpha value is given as 0 okay and uh, here mu uh, what where is the mu r okay where is the mu r as the question it is given non magnetic medium if the question is given non magnetic medium then eta r is equals to eta not so here eta r will be just use as eta not means that is equals to 1 into mu not so here it is coming as only mu not okay so that implies what is epsilon r and now um, a root over of epsilon r is equals to beta into c divided by omega it will come this side only and that is equals to beta value is given 0.8 c is the speed of light whose value is 10 power 8 and divided by omega it is 2 pi into 10 power 7 okay so that will come as uh, 2 pi 2 pi 3 8 so 12 divided by pi okay and after that you can write epsilon r is equals to 14.59 okay so epsilon r value is 14.59 so epsilon r we got next what we need to find so epsilon is calculated next we need to find the eta value so how do i find that so you know formula of eta is mu divided root over of epsilon square root so that is equals to mu not divided by epsilon not epsilon r okay that is equals to again 120 pi divided by square root of epsilon r so 
so this will uh, if you put the value of epsilon r which you got previously 14.59 then finally you will get 10 of pi square okay it will go up and you will get 10 pi square and that is equals to 98.7 ohms okay so this is the value of eta next is second point find the time average power so what is that that comes from the pointing theorem that is equals to e cross h that is equals to e e 0 square divided by eta into sin of square sorry sin square omega t minus beta x a x so this is the general form for uh, e 0 general form for finding out the power okay then the average power will be how much so p average or p a b is equals to 1 by 2 root over over the time period adds okay into p d t okay so that will be how much e square divided by 2 eta into a x so after putting the time period from 0 to t we will get this value and that is equals to how much e naught square it will be 16 divided by 2 into 10 power sorry 2 into 10 pi square into a x that is equals to 81 a x milliwatts per meter so if you do the calculations you will get these values now how do we find this e naught value that is a question so in the question it is e is given as so okay in the question so e naught value is given as 4 so square to that will be 16 so simply that is what you have taken is divided by 2 pi so pi eta is coming as 10 pi square so 2 into 10 pi sorry 2 eta in this one so this is the answer to the question number b to find the time average power so remember this is the average power this is the time average power you need, you need to integrate that okay and how the sign term is going on because if you are integrate then 0 to t so basically wherever it starts wherever that term is so this sign term will be 0 okay that's why it is 0 okay so the next problem is saying that on a plane is given which plane 2x plus y is given as the plane that is equals to 5 so this plane is given now a normal vector so for this you need to know the pointing theorem uh, stokes theorem and all those those i am assuming that you have read on that so a normal to the surface if a surface is given and to find the power then you have to take the normal of the power that will be the direction of the power so 2x plus ay divided by root over of 5 so this one 2x plus ay okay so this is what this is the a normal vector along the surface that is given okay now the p average will be equals to integration of p not p average i'll just write here p a b okay for avoiding confusion that is p average dot d s so it is a total power through a surface right so that is equals to so p a b into s we can write the surface integral as, as s and a n is the direction okay so that is equals to how much eighty one into ten power minus three a x okay so that's what we got uh, previously here p average is eighty one milliwatt so that's why eighty one into ten power three a x okay into s value so in the question it is given hundred centimeter square just make it meter so hundred into ten power four so this is nothing but this area that is given in the exam sorry given in the question so this is this one then again into 2ax so that is the unit normal vector 2ax by root over of 5 okay so if you calculate all it should come around 724.5 microwatt okay very few power 
so with this this video ends here and uh, in the next video i'll do some more problems so you can check on to that so thank you for watching and have a good day